that you are well and that you had an amazing day. All right, so as we're getting ready for our class for today, it is our grade three English lesson on multiple meaning words. So once again, welcome everybody. And I really hope that the session is going to be informative. So before we start, um, we're going to log into the A plus students.ca. Once we've logged into A plus students.ca with your username as your password. And then you're going to choose language arts. So the subject that we're choosing is language arts. And then we're going to grade three. All right, so when we are at the, this page that we're in front of us after we went into grade three, the chapter that we're focusing on tonight is multiple meaning words. So you're gonna click on multiple meaning words. So the chapter multiple meaning words, the within the chapter of multiple meaning words, the lessons that we're going to be focusing on today is multiple meaning words with pictures, which definition matches the sentence and which sentence matches the definition. So that is what we will be doing today, right? So the multiple meaning words with pictures, which definition matches the sentence and which sentence matches the definition. All right, so before we go into our lesson, all right, so we're going over here. So multiple meaning words, right? It is like homonyms, right? So it is like homonyms, almost like, you know, homophones, homonyms, or multiple meaning words, like we call it. And it is words that have the same spelling. And so usually it sounds the, the same, or sounds alike, but the meanings are different, right? So homonyms or multiple meaning words are words that have the same spelling and they usually sound the same or sound alike, but they have different meanings, right? And if we look at an example, just think of bark, right? Like a dog barks, a bark. And bark, so bark that you find on a tree, right? So as you can see that, that the spelling, so the spelling as well as the sound of that specific word is the same, right? So bark and bark, right? However, the meaning is different. So bark is the first like let's say the meaning of the first word bark is like a dog barking and the second meaning which is or second word bark the meaning of that word means tree bark or the bark of a tree right all right so that is basically multiple meaning words right it is words that have the same spelling and they also usually sound Sound the same or sound alike they have different meanings right that is multiple meaning words if we look at this picture that you see in front of you right here's a couple of pictures right <clears throat> it is different pictures however two of that specific words right it basically spells the same sounds the same however the meaning of those words are different right for example fly like if you look at the first one right so fly so the first fly is basically like we would say like an insect right that is flying around the house and then we have fly. It's like you're either flying in an airplane or you're flying in a helicopter, right? So that is two different words, right? That sounds the same. 
Well, the spelling is the same. However, the meaning of those words are different, right? So the same with these two. So scales, right? So we have one scale that it basically weighs or takes your, your weight, right? And we have another scale, which is the scales that we find on the fish. So once again, it is words that sound the same. The spelling is the same. However, the meaning is different. Then we have a ring, right? A ring, it's like a tone ringing. And then we have a ring, like either a wedding ring, engagement ring, a promise ring, right? Or a piece of jewelry, right? So that is the two meanings of ring. Two words that spells the same, sounds the same. However, the meanings are different, right? Then bat, right? So bat, it's this one bat is either flying um, little animal, right? That is black. And then we have a bat, like, for example, a cricket bat, a baseball bat, right? Like an instrument that we use for sports. Then we have palm. Palm, these two words, the, <clears throat> the word is spelled the same. It sounds the same. However, the meaning is different. So the palm, so the first palm or the word palm is like the palm of your hand, right? And the other one is the palm tree, right? So, which means that the two of them meanings are totally different, right? And then we have chest, like a chest, like a treasure chest with um, either gold in or things that you can put within that chest, almost like a, um, like a box. And then we have chest, which is like part of our body. Then we have wave, wave. Um, it's the words that spells the same, sounds the same. However, the meanings are different, right? So wave, the first wave is like your greeting, right? You're waving. It's like you're lifting up your arm, your hand, and you're greeting your neighbors, your friends, or, or so on. That is waving. And then the other wave is like at the ocean, right? So this, the waves, either how big or how small, um... Sometimes even you can hear the beautiful sounds of the waves or if the waves are nice and on a good day, then it is good specifically for, for surfers, right? And then we have ruler, right? So ruler. Um, and in this case also, the word is spelled the same. It sounds the same. However, the meanings are different. So ruler, right? So the first ruler is to measure right or we can rule a line right and then the other ruler is like a king right or a prince and he rules either the castle or he rules the city or something right so that is the ruler so which means that the multiple meaning words are words that's that sounds the same right or it is spelled the same but they have different meanings, right? So that is multiple meaning words. All right, so now we're going back to our tutorial, right? So if we go back to the tutorial, they say multiple meaning words. Is, <clears throat> type the word that fits both pictures. So we're going to type the word that fits both of these pictures, right? All right, we look at the first one, right? It is a bowl, right? That you can put either food in, you can put cereal in, um, right? cereal or so on. And then we also have bowling, right? It's where you um, go to the archive games. Um, it's a bowl, almost like with little cones, and then you need to knock the cone over so the word that best suits um let's say the pictures we can then say it is bowl right so bowl because it's a bowl the first bowl it is either used for food soup 
um, cereal or anything that we can eat out of. And then the second bowl is like a form of a game, right? That you basically play at the archives that has a ball and you need to hit the cones over. All right, then we have, if we look at the other two pictures, right? Um, it is where the first picture, the dog is sitting, wa waggling his tail and the owner gives him a bone, right? Or let's say a treat, right? So in that case, it means that this dog is well trained, right? It is trained. And then next to it, we have an actual train, right? A train, which is a form of a transport. So which means that the word that both fits these pictures, we can say it is train. Where you train a dog, and then the other train being a form of transport. All right, so once again, <clears throat> if we go back to like the meaning of multiple meaning, right? Some words have more than one meaning. The light hurts my eyes, right? Feathers are light. So which means that the word light, it basically refers to more than one thing, right? That we are basically talking about. So if we say the light hurts my eyes, then we are specifically talking about the light that we switch on or off, right? That is the light that we are talking about. And then feathers are light, right? That is not about the light that we are that we switch on and off. We are specifically talking about um, the, the, let's say the weight of specifically a feather, right? So which means that the first light it is a almost like the, the switch that we, that we turn on and off and it's either it lights up the room and when you switch it off it is dark again it's the first light which is like something either electric or so on and then the other light it refers to weight right and the maiden example of feathers being light right so a bird's feather which is the weight of that is very light and then sometimes the different meanings even sound different, right? So not only is, as they said with multiple meaning words, yes, some, um, let's say some sounds the same also, but we also have some multiple meaning words that sounds quite different, right? And the words that sounds quite different is, for example, bow right so the actor leaned over and took a bow right a bow so it's like the show is over and they're about to thank the audience so they come down and it's like you are bending over and you're thinking a bow, and that is your form of saying thank you right so in this case bow rhymes with how and that is how we basically say the word right or how it sounds then we also have another one which is the girl tied a bow in her hair so this bow right is not bow right it is bow and it rhymes with low right so as you can see the two words yes the spelling is the same however the sound is different right the first word bow or B-O-W is bow, which rhymes with how, and bow for girls, like we tie a bow to girls' hair, it rhymes with low, right? And then also words with more than one meaning are called multiple meaning words, or we also call it homographs. So multiple meaning words means that there it's a word that has more than one meaning, right? And we spoke about train, training your pet dog and train. All right. All right. <clears throat> then we have another word, right? If we look at the two pictures, we see a scoreboard on the scoreboard the results are the same, right? Home has 35 and guests have 35, right? Which means that it is a tie, right? It is, is a tie, meaning that both of them have 
the same score, right? So we call that a tie. And then the other picture that we have is a man wearing a tie, right? So he's wearing a tie. So the word tie, it sounds the same as well as the spelling is the same. However, the meanings of the words are different, right? So it's a tie, the second tie, right? This picture over here, it means basically it's like a piece of cloth that you tie around your, like your shirt, the, by the collar of your shirt. And then um, usually people wear it either for formal meetings or it's basically just that's something that you just wear with either a suit, you wear it with a shirt, um, mainly for formal or formal casual wear, right? For work, church, and so on. So that is a tie. All right, so that is multiple meaning words with pictures. So if we go to test, right? <clears throat> and we begin the test. We need to type the word that fits both pictures. So we need to type the word that fits both pictures, right? All right, so the first picture, right? We see it's like some electrical um, gadget or appliance thing and cool air is being blown out of it and then we have a girl who is supporting her team right so now we need to say if that is fan or goal so is that fan or goal and remember we need to look at both pictures in order to type the correct word that fits both the pictures is it fan or goal all right, so basically the first picture, it is a fan, and it's a fan that blows cold air, especially when it is extremely hot. We switch on the fan, and it cools the place, the room, or so on. And in the second picture, it is a girl who's supporting her team, which means that she is a fan of whichever team that she is supporting. So fan, right? Two different um, words same um spelling as well same sound however the meaning is different so fan all right here we have two little animals little insects as well as an animal so we have i think it's a fly and we have a bird right so the first one yes it is an actual fly right which flies around little insect and then we have a bird right and a bird that is flying he fly right so which means that we are going to choose the word fly same word same spelling different meanings all right so if we look at the next pictures right the first picture, um, the guy has on a beanie, he's got a scarf, gloves, and it is snowing, right? So now he is freezing, meaning he is getting cold. And the other picture shows a girl in bed with a cold, right? Which means that she's ill. And when you're ill or you have the flu, we basically call that having a cold right so which means that the word that both fit, fits the picture is cold right cold as in it's winter and you are getting cold you are freezing and cold as in you are ill and you have either the cold the flu and you need to stay in bed right your temperature is high so cold words it sounds the same spells the same but the meanings are different all right so now we're going back all right so which definition now matches the sentence so we've gone which definition matches the sentence
So what fine mean in the sentence? You need to say what fine mean in the sentence, right? Miss Hong didn't clean up after her dog, so she paid a fine. So is it the first one, which is fine, which is a noun? It is money that you have to pay because you did something wrong. Or finding, okay, a good, I am fine, right? So there's two different words that means fine, right? The first one, it is money that you have to pay if you did something wrong. And the second one is, okay, a good, saying that you are fine. So Miss Hong didn't clean up after her dog, so she paid a fine. So this word fine, right? So if you don't pick up or clean up after your dog, especially if you're in a public space, and then you will then get a fine, meaning it is money that you need to pay because you did something wrong. So fine is the first meaning, right, where money has to be paid because you did wrong. Sorry. What does fire mean in the sentence? You can't fire me because I quit, yelled the cook. So you can't fire me because I quit, yelled the cook. Fire, which is a verb, is it to make someone leave a job? Or fire, which is a noun, it is the light, heat, and flames made by something burning, right? So the second fire, it's like where you're making a fire, either to warm your hands or you're going to have a barbecue, right? And then the first one, it is to make someone leave a job. They are being dismissed. So here it says, you can fire me because I quit, yelled the cook, right? So that is a verb because she is doing something right she is someone that she's basically dismissed right or dismissing herself in that sense the police caught the thief who robbed the bank in in stafford so the boat the, the the thief who robbed the bank in stafford so is it bank, which is the noun, the ground on the side of the river, like so the river bank, or bank, which is a noun, it's a place where people can save their money, you can go money, get money, make a loan, save your money, yes, so bank. So the police caught the thief who robbed the bank in Stafford, which means that we are talking about meaning a place where people can save their money right so which means that the bank has lots of money because lots of people saving their money in a bank all right so now we're going to the test right on which definitions match the same so what does train mean within the sentence? Laura will train her dog, Astro, not to beg for food. So train, right? The verb, is it to teach to do something? Or train noun, a line of railroad cars on a track pulled by an engine, meaning a form of transport. So is the train, the verb, to teach to do something? Or train noun a line of railway roads, railroad cars on a track pulled by an engine, and that is, like I say, a form of transport. So if she's going to be training her dog not to beg food, then it means that she's going to teach him to do something, which is to not beg for food. I always close my eyes before I go to bed. <clears throat> so is it close, which is the verb to shut something? like a door or box 
or close, right? Which is an adjective, not far away. So that basically shows distance. Close, near, far. So if I, so if it is, I always close my, my, my windows before I go to bed. Sorry, close my window before I go to bed. Then it is shut something like a door or a box. Brit and Kwan have the same teacher at school. So Brit and Kwan have the same teacher at school. School is the noun, which is a group of fish swimming together like a school of fish. Or school and noun, a place for learning. So Brit and Kwan have the same teacher at school. It is a place of learning. All right. So now before we go to which sentence matches the definition, let us do an activity. All right. So we are going to look at the first activity that has, it says words with multiple meanings, right? Some words sound the same, but have the same spelling and have the same spelling, but they have different meanings, right? So you're going to look at the specific picture and we are going to check um, or click the picture that best um, matches the sentence. So we are going to click the, the, the picture that best matches each of the sentences. So, so the tree bark is brown. The tree bark is brown. Is it picture one? Which shows a tree with apples on. Or picture two? A dog. That bark. It says the tree bark is brown. Which means that we are going to choose the, the tree bark. Right? Please help me tie my, sh my shoes. There's a boy sitting down and he's looking for assistance in tying his shoes, right? And then the other one is a tie, which is not another word for bow that you basically wear over your shirt, right? Knotted to your shirt, usually worn either for formal or smart casual wear. So help me tie my shoes, which means that it is the first one. My favorite color is orange. Is it orange? A fruit? Or orange, right? Which is color, splatter of paint. So we will say it is the second one, right? Because they're talking about the color being orange, not the fruit being an orange. All right. So now we going to draw a line from the word to the picture that shows the meaning the multiple meanings right all right so star we need to draw the line from the word so okay let's start by bark bark so the first word bark we need to draw it to a to the meaning of the to the pictures that show their meaning <coughs> so bark is basically the bark of a tree and also a dog barking, right? Let's choose a different color. All right, fly. So there we have a fly, which is an actual fly. And yeah, we have somebody flying in an airplane or helicopter. Pin, right? There we have pin. And there we have a pin, right? It's like a, yes. A star. We can go straight up to a star in the sky. And a star being you are most liked by everybody, like a musician, actor, or so on, right? So that is same word, spell the same, sounds the same. However, it has multiple meanings, right? Different meanings. All 
All right. So now we're going back to our lesson and it says which sentence matches the definition. So within the first lesson, we had to um, we had to identify the multiple meanings with words, multiple meaning words with its pictures, right? And then the second one we had to get the the definition and match it with the sentence. And now we're going to, it says, which sentence matches the definition? We need to match the sentence with its correct definition. Which sentence uses the meaning of light? Light noun, something that helps you to see when it is dark. So which sentence uses the meaning of light? Let me see something. Or which sentence uses the meaning of bear, right? Bear. So if we look at this word bear, which is B-E-A-R, right? And B-E-A-R, bear, it's a noun and it is a large furry animal that sleeps in the winter, right? And here they also say that a black bear cub will stay with its mother for about a year, right? So basically this bear, it refers to an animal, right? A big furry animal. And then we have another word which we say bear, right? It's like, oh, please just bear with me, right? Be patient with me, right? So that is another word, bear. Which sentence uses the meaning of shed? Shed, right? So shed, it's a noun building for a storing tool usually outside right so a shed right it is like um it's like a small little house that you build the back of um let's say either in your yard or somewhere somewhere and you keep um let's say storage items they like your gardening things or literally all of the things that you are storing so that is a shed right mom keeps her shovel in the shed behind the house a shed so the word shed has more than one meaning right the question asks for this meaning which is a shed it's a small building for storing tools usually outside right now we also have like a few other meanings of the word shed right so in the spring dogs shed their winter coats and fur right so shed means basically to get rid of so dogs they shed their winter coats fur so it's to get rid of right and then of course we have the shed which is a small building for storing tools Which sentence uses the meaning of wind? Wind, it's a noun, right? And this air that is moving. So the firefighters were afraid that the high wind would spread the fire, right? So which sentence uses the meaning of wind, right? Wind, which is air that is moving. Or the firefighters were afraid that the wind, the high wind would spread the fire, which we, in this sense, we are talking about the weather, right? So wind has more than one meaning, right? Which is the air that is moving, right? And then we have another one that says, the firefighters were afraid that the high wind would spread the fire, right? Which means that this wind means the air that is moving. All right. And then also we have, yeah, wind. Our wind gingers leash around a post so she doesn't run away, right? So this word wind, right? It is, says, yeah, wind means to wrap something like string or rope around something 
else, right? So it's like her wrapping the leash either around a pole or somewhere so the dog or the pet does not run away, right? All right, so now we're going to do a test, right? Which sentence uses the meaning of row? Row. So row, it's a noun, a line of people or thing, right? Row. Abby couldn't take her eyes off the row of cookies in the case. Or I can row the canoe across the pond. So which sentence uses the meaning of row? Row meaning a line of, of people or things. So the first one is Abby couldn't take her eyes off the row of cookies in that in the case or I can row the canoe across the pond. So we will then choose the first row, right? Row of cookies in the case. Wind, wind, which is a noun. It is the air that is moving. So wind, the air that is moving. The firefighters were afraid that the high wind would spread like fire. The firefighters were afraid that the high wind would spread like fire, spread the fire. Or, I will wind Ginger's leash around a pot so she doesn't post, so she doesn't run away. So the first wind, it is talking about the weather, right? It's movement taking place. And the second one is basically to tie the dog's leash either around a pole or somewhere so she doesn't run away, which means that we are choosing the first one, right? Which is the air that is moving. It's like weather, right? Top noun. So top, right? We need to choose the word top. So it is a noun and a child's toy that spins. So a top is a noun and it's a child's toy that spins, right? So now which sentence uses the meaning of top? I can't believe we made it to the top of the mountain, right? And David spun the colorful top across the table, right? So if we were to choose the correct sentence within... um our test right then we would say it is david spun right it's like spin or spun the colorful top across the table not the climbing to the top of the mountain which sentence uses the meaning of well well which is a noun a deep hole in, a deep hole in the ground so well is a noun a deep hole in the ground so is it the first one that says the farmer used a bucket and drew water from the deep well right or the story that David wrote for the contest was well written. So well, a noun, a which is a noun, and it is a deep hole in the ground, which means that we are going with the first option, right? Because a well is a hole in the ground. People need to lower the buckets within this hole, and then they will be able to draw water from there. All right, so if you have that, then well done, well done. All right, so we're going back to do our last activity, right? And it says, same words, different meaning. So same words, different meaning, 
right? So the directions for um, for this little activity that we have, the dot, oh, it says fill in the correct words for each sentence using the word bank, right? And the word bank we will find right at the bottom of the activity. Each word will be used twice within the activity. So the word within the word bank is sink, ring, note, and bark, right? All right, so now we're going to the first one. We're going to write the correct word on the line. The dog had a mean sink, ring, note, or bark. Right, so he had a mean bark. All right, so we're going to go with bark. I answered the phone when I heard it ring. Right, so when your phone rings, that is when we answer the phone. He wrote her a note, like a letter. Make sure to put your dishes in the sink. So all dishes needs to go in the sink. He proposed to her with a engagement ring, with a ring. Musicians read music or musical notes. So they read music notes, right? Rocks really sink in the water fast, right? So they sink. And the bark on the tree is almost gone right so these are multiple meaning words right so the word like for example sink rink note and bark right the words they sound the same right because remember we had to use the word twice like bark and bark right so it sounds the same the spelling is the same however the meaning of these words are different like if we look at number one and number eight right the first one says the dog had a mean bark so bark it indicates that the dog is barking and then the the number eight says the bark on that tree is almost gone right which means it is bark from a specific tree right same words different meaning the same with the ring I answered the phone when I heard it ring, right? So the telephone or cell phone was ringing. And the next one was he proposed to her with a ring, like an engagement ring, which is a piece of jewelry. And then we have note, right? Note. So note is basically um, either like a letter that you are writing, but also notes are like musical notes, right? that either shows the tempo of a specific, when you're either playing music, you're listening to music, or you're playing um, an instrument. And then we have sync, right? Sync, which is either sync, it's to go, um, let's say, deep into the water, right to the bottom, or sink, it is where we wash our dishes in. All right, so that is the same words. However, the meanings are different, right? Same words, but the meanings are different. So that is basically it for multiple meaning words, right? And we focused on multiple meaning words with pictures, which definition matches the sentences, and we also did which sentences matches the definition. And a multi multi meaning multiple meaning word it is words that either sounds the same about the same but the meanings are different right 
So grade three, that is now the end of our lesson on multiple meaning words. Thank you very much for joining our class. And I really do hope that you're going to have an amazing evening further. Goodbye.